Hi, today I thought I'd do a review of a portable bath which I've bought. Recently had this wet room fitted, we're about to have the bath taken out. Now it's a very small room as you can see. I miss my bath. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do this review of this portable bath. Now initially our bath was in this space here and we had a shower over. Uh, but we've had a bigger sink and now that bath or a portable bath won't fit along there. So you have to be mindful where you're going to put it and how you empty it and how you fill it. So wait one moment and I'll just get it is. Quite small but big enough to cause havoc if you haven't got enough, not in, enough room. Uh, so basically it folds up. And it is quite slim. I don't keep it in my bathroom. I fold it up and keep it in a spare room that I've got. So what I'll do is I'll just open it up and show you the features of it. So here it is folded uh, down. So it does take up quite a considerable amount of room. Uh, right, so I'll just go over the features. I like the fact that these handles are quite good. So if you have some kind of difficulty getting out of the bath, they are sturdy enough to hold your weight. Plus also, when there's water in the bath, it makes the bath quite sturdy. So it also has these massage rollers, which I like. My son says they're a waste of time, but I do like them. Overall, the bath is quite sturdy and it's got like, it's like rubber, which folds into itself. You see the foldable bowls, it's very much like that. It has two drain plugs. So this one comes in handy when the bath is almost completely empty and you just tip it up to get the last remnants out. And this one, you attach a hose to it. Now, if you've got a wet room, it's ideal, but I'm not quite sure what you do with the bathroom because you still get pretty wet. It comes with this hose, which is quite flimsy. So I've tried filling um, the bath up with this without much success. So, okay, if you want a cold bath, but when you put it on your hot tap, you find it expands and comes off. So, not much use. So, all in all, really, that the hose is not that good. But it is quite comfortable. Um, you can have a good bath. I mean, my son's a lot taller than me. He's 5'8". Not a big man, but he still has, you know, he still enjoys his bath. He still says you have a good bath. And I can vouch for that too. You do have a good bath. Uh, so this cost me, I think it was £132 from Amazon and I think it comes in a blue and white, whereas this was pink. This is pink, should I say. So that's the overall um, bath itself. What I will do is I'll show you how I fill it up and empty it. So what I've done, I've used this like shower. Um, if I have a hairdresser shower, I use it for my dogs when I'm battling in the sink. So it fits over my sink quite, my taps quite well without spurting out everywhere. And the plastic hose that comes with it, that also fits on my cold tap and that's fine. I can use it on the cold tap, but um, not on the hot ones like I explained. So I'm just going to fill the back up and then I'll show you. I normally fill it, watch my phone, I don't drop it in. I normally fill it to about there and it gives you a nice deep bath. So if you're looking to uh, wallow in a bath, then yes, it's, it's good for that. Okay, that's me ready for the bath. I'm going to get in in a bit. I've put my towel down, I haven't wet, drenched the floor. Um, so I'm going to get in my bath. 
just one other thing, it comes with covers, so you can have a steam bath if you want. But I just like to listen to my music and chill, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So I'm just I'm gonna have a soak and uh, join me for when I empty the bath. Okay, I enjoyed that bath a little bit too long, but it was lovely. Uh, right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how I empty it. So basically there are two drainage uh, plugs. So let's find it. Now, you've got your hose and I'll show you how fast it comes out um, when you're trying to drain it. It will wet the floor quite considerably. So bear that in mind. Let's see. That's how much it will come out. Now I'm okay, I have got a wet room. But if you've got a bathroom, you know, you've got to be, you've got to be careful. Sort of like, you can put your hand over it to stop the flow, but it does come out. Quite a considerable, considerable amount. So just bear that in mind. So what I'm gonna do, Put the plug back in, dry my hands, and I'm going to put that the uh, the pipe in that's uh, that comes with it. And it's just another thought while I'm looking at this bath. I think the reason why they say do not have it too hot is because it is seamed, it's glued, obviously. So you know you've got to take that in mind. So yeah, I digress. Let me put the hose on and. Uh, I'll show you how I empty it. So that's my preferred method of emptying it. it still comes out, but if you have a shower tray, you've also got to be aware that the pipe will have to go up. But I'm sure you'll find a way. So it comes out. Oh, hang on. Now that will happen, but what you'll find is, just bear with me, that it's closed. Right, look. So it sometimes closes the rubber. So that is my preferable way of emptying it. And then when it's practically all empty, the last bits at the bottom, I will just use that end pub plug to tip it up. So my overall verdict is I love it. I say I love my bath. And I'm, I regret having this wet room, but it was needs must. My husband can no longer get in the bath. So, yes, over and all, I think it's a really good bath. How long it will last, I don't know. But I'm going to try and use it to the manufacturer's instructions uh, by not putting too hot a water in. But also, like I, like I said, like when I was filling it up with a shower hose, the water that was coming out of that shower hose was really hot. And I had it leaning up against here. Maybe that's not a good idea. So instead, just sort of like, you know, move it around as you're filling it up. So it's things like that that you've got to think about. But overall, I think it's really good. But ask me in a year's time. <laughs> so I hope this review has helped. Um, let me know if there's any questions that you want me to answer. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye for now. I'm going to show you or try to show you how you put it away. Basically, you're supposed to turn it upside down and press either side and push the bath down. Don't know if I can do it one handed. Let's have a look. So let's just push it down. So that's not too bad. Managed to do that one handed. And then you just fold the legs up like so. And there you go. What I do now is I stand it up against the wall and just give it a rinse. So I thought I'd add that bit for you.